thing that I did forget to, to mention, and I apologize. Um, there is a new thing that they're it's including. It's not going to be. It's called the Texas Projection Measure. And whereas this year it was just the kid passed or didn't pass. Now they're looking at is the kid on track to pass when they get to, when they graduate or when they get to the <coughs> state level test. So they look at third grade and they think, will this third grade pass when they get to fifth grade? They look at fifth grade students and they say, will this fifth grade student pass the test when they get to eighth grade? They look at eighth grade and say, will this student pass when they get to tenth grade? They look at 10th grade students and say, will this student pass when they get to 11th grade? And they have some different calculations that they look at not only how the kids do on a particular test, but how they did overall in the reading and writing, I mean reading and math, and how the kids in the grade did. They put all of those things together in a formula and they decide if the kid will pass. If they do, then they put them in the passing category. The thing I couldn't show you that was really neat on our AYP is in many cases, we moved up between, mm, when, if we were in the 80%, we were in the 90% when they started looking at Texas projection measure. We did, we had that for fifth grade science this year, and we had it for 10th grade science, and we moved up several students on 10th grade science, and one student up on fifth grade science they did not have the Texas projection measure in place for 8th grade science. If they had, we had so many of our 8th grade students who were within one test question of passing, I think we would have been a recognized campus and a recognized district on the junior high. This next year, the Texas projection measure will be in place for junior high students. And so we fully expect our kids to pass it the first time, <laughs> but even if they miss it by one, we think we'll have a lot of them that move up with the Texas projection. Just when you think you get it figured out, though, they'll <laughs> change. Yeah. In 2013, it's no longer exemplary, recognized, acceptable, credited, credited. Uh, I can't remember the. So they are actually de-emphasizing the. Uh, the distinctions be, to take into account the fact that there's some areas that have no diversity and some areas that have a lot of diversity. Well, like the fact that they're looking at the grade of the student rather than maybe worried about the They're looking at growth over a, yeah. uh, a That's the most important thing. Yeah. 